Hi everyone, this is Denise with Creates with Love, and I just wanted to do a really quick update here. I've received several emails of people that were having a difficulty finding their cartridge images that they're used to using. And what happened was back in March, um, I believe it was March 20th, Cricut did a really awesome update to their search features or categories. Um, basically just the way that you search for your images and it was a really big update meaning it's just a different way of searching for our images so let me just um, hop right into it but first I want to show you one thing real quick that a lot of people might not know about is that Cricut also anytime they do a, a considerable update they will also give us their release notes and the way to find them anytime that you're in design space you can just go up to the help where it says help here and click on help and then go to design space facts how to's troubleshooting and more so it's the first square on the left upper side and then you'll see release notes right here Okay, so if you notice something's different and maybe one of us hasn't put out a video yet explaining, you know, some of the differences, this is where you'll want to come and see if they did a release. And then sure enough, here is that 320 release. And they give you all the little details of what I'm going to be showing you. So just there you go. Here it is. This is what the emails I was getting was the term cartridge has changed to image sets. So we were used to searching for the word cartridges, but since they changed it to image sets, we're having a difficult time finding them. So it's just a simple little tweak of words and now we'll know and then they go step by step how they change their search feature and enhanced uh, quite a few things. Okay, so this is just a good place to come and see if they've released anything new if you notice something different. And then this doesn't affect your design space, right, because it opens up in a separate browser. So I can just close this window. Okay, so here we are in design space and typically when you were looking for an image, you would click on images and this is what it's going to default to. If you remember prior, we had the little search bar up here and our little different filters. So what they did was they actually enhanced it. This is really, really awesome what they did. So this is where your cartridges are. Remember when I showed you the release notes, they changed the wordage to image set. So instead of cartridges, you're going to look for image sets. So let's just get right into it. now. Just to let you know, at the very top, it says right here, search in all images. So you have two choices right in this area. You know how they have over 100,000 images, right? So this is why they tried to make it uh, more simplified for us. So let's just say in here, I wanted to search for a flower. It's going to bring up 5,500 flowers, that's a lot to go through. And maybe you just don't want to go through that many. So at this point, you can go over to the left and you can go, well, you know what? I'm an access member. Let me see how many I have that's free to me to use since I am a Cricut Access subscriber. And that brings it down to this amount. Okay, so maybe an art type. Let's just kind of go over all of them just real quick. So. They've broke it down into categories here for you. So if we look at type, you just hit the plus button. You've got, you can look by cards, phrases, or 3D. So if I do cards, here's all the cards that have flowers in them. Be sure to uncheck it as you go through unless you want to keep going, right? So like if you wanted a card and then you wanted to make sure that it was a print and fill card, then you would go ahead and keep that other card checked, right? So they don't happen to have that, but I just wanted you to see that example. So make sure, because sometimes you'll go, you know, how come, where did, where did some of their options go? And that's where they would be. Okay, so we're back to flower. So we showed you the type. We've got cards, phrases, or 3D. In art type, I love this one because now they have draw only, which is super helpful. Uh, so they've got cut only, draw only, print and fill, and score. 
They've got image complexity, so a, a simple flower image, a more moderate image, a complex image. They've got layers, so if you want a single layered flower or if you'd prefer to have multi-layer flowers, right? So there's 2,900 for that one, and for the single, there's 2,521. Ownership. Now, are these, you know, maybe flowers that I've uploaded? So these I've actually uploaded on my own into my design space. So that's going to show me anything I've uploaded that I've tagged as a flower. So that's why it's really important to label things that you upload and tag them. Every one of these I tagged as just a flower. So I titled it with the image of what it is, but when I when I saved it as an upload, I added the tag flower. That way they'll all pop up for me. Okay, so if you had purchased, right, anything that you've purchased or maybe because you're also an Access member, it would come up here. Um, let's just say free, right, because you know how Cricut will release so many things for free. In case you're not an Access member, they want you to be able to work in their design space. And then also maybe any downloaded. So like this here, uh, my son was having knee surgery, and while I was at the hospital, I was working on a gateway gateway oh, gateway cards. Ah, say that really quick. And it just, I knew ahead of time I was going to be there, and so I went ahead and uh, downloaded all these images so I could work on it while I was uh, waiting for him to come out of recovery. Okay, so close this here, and then you can also search by brand, so any of the brands that Cricut has right here. You can browse by what type of material you're planning on using are some options, and then they have language, and I think the language is mainly set up for, because uh, you can set your language in Design Space before you even use it, but you can also switch your language this gives you a quicker way to do it. And I think it's also for when you want to do the, uh, what's it called, the projects that are ready now to make, and you can have it translated to your specific language. Okay, so those are there. So let me go back. So this was the other thing I wanted to show you in this area is just browse all images. You can actually browse every single image that they have. Let me get rid of the flower. And it's going to show you currently they have 119,300 images. So, wow, that's a lot. Thank you, Cricut, for giving us these great search features so we don't have to scroll through 119,000 <laughs> images. Okay, so let me go ahead. I'm going to take out, or I can leave in Cricut images. Okay, so let me go back here. So let's go over these really quick. I don't want to spend too much time and take up too much of your time. These are pretty self-explanatory here, right, they're just giving you nice categories to go by. Um, you'll notice this is down here. If I was to make my design space wider, it's going to show up over here. So that's the only difference. If it was really small, it just might look different one day when you look at it. So keep that in mind. Okay, so let me make it big again. Okay, so here, these um, are good ones to check, right? These were the fun ones to check before, at least for me. Um, these are ones that Cricut is specifically featuring. So they have 101 that they're just kind of highlighting right now, featured images. You can go back and recently added. So you want to see what they've recently added lately. They've added 582 images. And again, you're going to have all of these uh, search categories, right? So art type, maybe I want to see what they've added that I can just draw only and it's going to go to everything that you can draw only. Okay, so let me go back. Free this week is always a fun one, right? They've been giving us a whole bunch of images lately. Let me take the draw only out. So look at that, there's 2,287 images that are free this week. They've been very gracious with everybody quarantined at home. They've given us uh, a lot more images than they typically do. You. So thank you once again, Cricket, for that. All right. So let me go back. 
And then the other one we have is image set. So again, these are your cartridges. So all the cartridges that you knew and loved before, they're all here. They're just under a different name tag as an image set instead. And then you can go through if it's your cartridges, I'm sorry, your image sets, if they were purchased by you or part of Cricut Access or also Cricut will release some cartridges. I'm sorry, again, image sets <laughs> for free. That I think is gonna be a tough word, right, in our minds to remember, but you get the you get the drill there. All right, so just really quickly, that's pretty much everything, but let me just go over, um, let's just say animals and wildlife, just to show you what a category looks like so I can show you these tags, because this is pretty cool. So. Of the animals and wildlife, they've got this amount of images, right? Which the number doesn't really matter, but that sometimes that'll give you a clue as to if you might have accidentally had something in here clicked. Okay, so, and let's say related tag, I'm gonna look at it. These are the filters they provide you. And maybe I want a Mandela of an animal, but let's just hit view more. And it pops up all their tags that you can kind of sort order down to. Okay, so where did that word Mandela go? Do, do, do. I saw it earlier. There it is. Let's just say I want to do a, a Mandela. Maybe I, I want to do like a coloring, a drawn coloring page for my granddaughter or something like that, right? So these are going to come up with all of the Mandelas. And then I could even search it through by art type, right? Because I want to have it drawn, right? So I hit draw. And these are the ones that I could literally have drawn out on a piece of paper in black ink, and then she can come through and color all of the lines in between. Or let's just say you wanted to make a beautiful infusible ink uh, Mandela. This would be great. You could use your, your drawing projects with your infusible ink pens or your joy pens. All right, so basically that's pretty much it. I think, let me go back. I don't think there's really anything else. I think I touched base on everything. Um, shapes is a nice one, right? You know, sometimes you're looking for specific shapes. So those would be great. Um, I think that's about it. So I'm gonna check through. I haven't been on my iPad lately in Cricut, but if there's a change there, uh, I'll be sure to do a separate video for that in case uh, for our iPad and iOS users. All right. Well, that is it. So continue to create with love. Take care. Bye.